Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video is really exciting because I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to foil your candle labels. Now, if you guys have ever seen anybody showing off their candle labels, it's beautiful gold foil, it's shiny, it looks just stunning. I had always wondered how to do that and I finally figured it out. So I can't wait to show you guys today and let's go ahead and get right on into it. First things first, I will say before I get started into more information in this video, just know that you guys will need to have a laser printer in order to foil labels. It will not work with inkjet and the reason being is that foil only sticks to toner. So that is something that I just have to preface at the beginning of this video. So basically when I was searching up information on how to foil candle labels, I found some information on just using a regular laminator or you could get something called a mink machine. So that kind of sparked my interest. I wanted to find out what that was. And what it is, is it's basically specifically for foiling labels and it looks like this. So I'm not sure how much it's gonna show on camera. It's probably gonna get a little whited out, but this is called a Heidi Swap mink machine. And as you can see right there, it will show different numbers and that is going to indicate different temperatures. So depending on the type of paper or type of material that you are working with, um, you can look up and find out what temperature it needs to be on when you are trying to foil that. I believe this was around $150. I'm sure you can get it cheaper somewhere else. Maybe I'll look on Amazon to see if they have it. I believe it was like a little starter kit. This is the 12 inch one. They have this size and I believe they have a smaller one as well. But this one came with a couple of little starter cards that you can do that you can use. So this was actually one that I did try out when I first got started. So you can see right there, it's all pretty and gold. And it came with that little sheet of gold, which we will be using today, as well as I did buy a couple different colors. I bought a silver one, but it's in my room right now. I forgot to grab it. But this is an iridescent one that I've been playing around with a lot, um, just because I, I have ideas for some future candle labels that I'm working on. Um, so I am just going to walk you guys exactly through how to foil a label. I personally purchase all of my candle labels off of online labels and this size right here is a size I've used for so long. It is a 2.83 by 2.2 inch size for labels. And this is the label design that we are going to be foiling today. And all I did was I went on Canva, I designed it and then I imported it onto Maestro Label Designer, which is online labels design software. And I was able to just print it out right onto the sheet using my laser printer. And as I said earlier, it will only stick to toner, which comes from a laser printer. So anything that the foil is going to touch on here as we put it through the machine is going to be foiled. And personally, I don't wanna foil everything. I just want to foil what is in the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my gold sheet of foil right here. This is what the back looks like. It's really thin, really, really thin. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up onto it and I am going to cut out a piece that is slightly bigger than what the design is, but I don't want it to cover anything more than what that center part is. And from what I had kind of learned and I was trying to figure out is you can print out whatever you want to foil, you can print out first foil that section, and then if you wanna print out more that you don't want to be foiled, then you can run it back through the printer and print out more, and it's not gonna hurt the foil, it's not gonna cause any issues. I've already tried it before. All right, so this is pretty much what I have cut out, and I will show you guys further what I'm going to do when it comes to actually foiling. And something else that I had learned was make sure that you have the foil facing up and not facing down. Uh, that was kind of shocking to me for some reason. I thought that in order to take the color, I would have to have the gold part actually touching the toner, but nope, you have to make sure that the foil is facing up. So I have the mink machine plugged in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on in the back and I'm going to press this button, which is going to start heating it up. And for the labels that I use, the glossy sticker labels, all I have to do is turn it to level two. So basically what these are is I believe that the higher the number goes, the hotter it's going to get. So zero is just pressure and anything one to five is going to actually be heat. 
So while that's heating up, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how exactly it's going to work. So this is a big sheet of plastic and it's folded right there in the middle. So all we're going to do is put this inside into the crease and fold it down. And I'm just going to adjust this to make sure that it's not touching anything else except for the center part, just like that. And you kind of have to be careful because sometimes it, it's moved around on me, but that's something just so you guys can see what it looks like. And I don't know if you guys just heard that, but it just beeped and the green light stopped blinking. So that means that it's ready to go. And something that I had issue with in the beginning was that it wasn't actually pulling through the machine. So you kind of have to push it in a little bit more until it grabs and you can feel it grab it and start to pull it through. Something else that's really important is back here on the back of the machine, make sure that it is set to F for forward. Otherwise, if it's set to reverse, it will not grab it because it doesn't realize that you're trying to push in the paper from the front. So make sure it is set to F so that you are putting it through the front of the machine and it is coming through the back of the machine. All right, so it is almost all the way through. I never wanna just pull it all the way out. I'm gonna wait until it's completely all the way out before I take it. All right, so it is now completely done. So all you have to do, remove this from here, and then let's peel it off. And there it is. So now we got this gold shiny label in the center. And to be honest with this, because it's strawberry shortcake, I honestly would love to play around with like a pink or a red foil. But just for the sake of this video to show you guys, I think the gold is so cute. But anyways, guys, I really hoped you enjoyed today's video on how to foil candle labels. I really hoped you learned something. Again, I'm still very new at this, so I'm sure there's tons of different ways that you can foil candle labels, but this is just the way that I have figured out how to do it. So if you guys have any more questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give a thumbs up all those good things. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. If you guys don't necessarily know what that is, it's basically just those really pretty, shiny, foiled, gold, foiled, shiny, it's shiny and foiled. Oh.